Alright. So the next portion um, of the cabin area consists of four pieces. Uh, a rear cabin wall, two side walls, and the next bulkhead wall. Now these go from this second one out here. The side wall is spanning two of these and the final wall on the front here. Now I've glued all this around some area in place. Um, once again, nothing majorly different between what I mentioned before, apart from the D parts instead of E parts, but um, all fits relatively easy together um, and no real hassle assembling it, so that's fairly simple. And of course, these two front booms which you need to take out in order to be able to put the rear area on. Now this guy, because your rear guy, simply fits in here, up against that. I'll just sit it there for you to give an idea before I glue it in. Right, you see, it's just typical doing the video. It doesn't want to stay in place. I'm going to forward so you get an idea. So that guy fits in there. Yeah, we'll glue him in place. And uh, then I'll show you how these sidewalls fit on the side here. Cheers. Right, now we've got this one in place. Uh, we can add the next one. Shouldn't be too difficult to glue up. And this one goes in from behind and positions itself nicely. Behind that, now I had to cut here yeah, just so the notching would line up and uh, these little guys wouldn't prevent it from going in. So I'll let that one dry and then we'll add the side post and the cross beam across the top. Cheers. Alright, so now we've added a rear wall and a front wall. We can add the cross walls which go in here. Yeah. Once again, I warn you, these have been adjusted to fit. So, quite simply, on mine, I can just drop them in place. So, there's one there. side, so if we look down in here, zoom out a little bit, you see so we've got two sets of walls, one for that side, and if it will stay where it's supposed to, one on the other side, I'll now glue those in place, once you've glued those in place we'll cut the cross beam across the top and that'll lock it all in. I'll then show you what it looks like when it's all completed. Go back out. You'll be able to see. Thank you. Right, and so both the walls have been out there. We've got the wall here and the wall on this side. We can now add the final piece of the puzzle, which is the final portion there, and that goes in here. And that means the cabins are all completed in that area. Uh, we can now add all the cross sections. Um, and this stuff as need be. I'm on my way lightly, some of it clear so you can see this. So if I 
fill in that section which is not relevant and leave this bit open here you'll be able to see the cabin structure in there on the final build and that's how you put that portion of the cabin in there's another section to go in the next rib and then some little corner ones to go on there so it comes out completely and then there's a middle piece which sits in the center over here so the cabin will increase out to there and then go out a little bit further and the box sits in the middle there so eventually your whole structure will come all the way through so we've got the front section front sec uh, rear section doors front section the fire pit area and it's all built up and uh, we'll concentrate on finishing this bit so you see how the next bit can be done so as you can see I've uh, <coughs> Added the cabins, um, the two rear, rear ones, and added the uh, the top area. Um, I won't laugh too much. Um, I'll zoom in uh, to give you an idea of what you can and can't see. You can see the door there. You have to zoom in really, 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 really close. Uh, if you look through the gap in the middle there, you can see the door of the cabins. Um, so I wouldn't be particularly alarmed when you uh, put the top on and whether you decide to put uh, all those supports in or not. Uh, looking at the cabin, uh, it's fairly difficult to uh, see things. You cannot see it through the bottom or the sides. You can only see it through the top. So those who don't decide to put the cabin in uh, won't be missing out on much. However, um, it's fun putting it in and it's enjoyable. Uh, and I'll show you the next portion. So for this final bulkhead section, um, it's the main bulkhead itself. And two side bulkheads um, which sit in here. Now this has been joined to the crossbeam because it makes it really easy to put in then and these two then slot in either side uh, I'll show you how that goes in a second alright so as I said once you adjust it for the flooring once you adjust it for the flooring along here uh, you quite simply just slots in place and uh, that's your last major bulkhead and uh, these sidewalls that's it like that and that's your side cabins and that's basically it um, this other one sits on the other side um, and then we just got to put all the cross pieces on top that's your cabin structure is completed um, very simple but uh, does need a bit of adjusting and filing to get the cabin portions together uh, there's another little bit that tips out either side here and the box unit that goes in the middle uh, still haven't worked out how to put those in yet but uh, when we do you'll see it all completed I'll glue that up Let me zoom in a bit so you can see what it looks like right, yeah, fairly simple to put in place uh, you just got to make sure you adjust these slots here too I have to cut them out yet uh, so the other cross beam portions will work and fit in the slots because this covers it up uh, so I'll just cut that out before I glue it all in and you'll get to see what it looks like but when the final thing's done it's obviously going to be covered by all this as well so how much you'll actually visibly be seen is entirely up to you of how much you want to leave with this open or when you leave it sealed up uh, but the ship is becoming really really solid at the moment um, yeah, it's enjoyable, uh, no major concerns, uh, no major difficulties, uh, the parts just need to be adjusted slightly, uh, but nothing that uh, shouldn't be able to be done by anybody. Uh, I'll show you the next piece when she's uh, all done. And that is how it looks with that cabin installed. Um, as I said, there are two other bits that come out and go round. I may only do one of them because there's no point in repeating it on this side but then you can see the cabin 
poking around there where that end bit would be. It adds up nicely for the box in the middle here. And but that is basically the cabin section complete. As I said, this is yeah, there's three cabin area, two cabin areas here, a bulkhead, a bulkhead. There is two cabin areas under here, uh, with another bulkhead under there, and a bulkhead under here. Which, yeah, if you look closely, you can see them. But you have to look really hard. Um, this does hide a lot of stuff. Um, even with these removed, you can't see a lot. The problem is if you cut. The problem is you can't cut these down here for the view because they're the main risers. For the back section, and it'll make it very, very unstable. So, um, yeah, it's an exercise worth doing. I enjoyed putting it together. It does add to the ship. It just makes it hard to see some of it. But, uh, you know, whether you want to do it or not, you won't miss it. If you do do it, you know it's there. If you don't do it, well, you're not going to notice that it's not there. Um, but it just takes a bit of thought. Uh, it did go together in the end. Um, and uh, it's just another feature of uh, the Trident kit. Specifically for the SOS members. See you in the next one when I add the last cabin area here. As I said, I've put the barrels in there, but they're not going to be really visible. And of course, you know, in the fireplace thing up, so I'll probably build this little guy next to sit on top of that. So when I put these cross pieces in, we know it all fits the way it's supposed to. We're going to adjust it around. But, you know, um, slowly coming along. It's been an enjoyable and frustrating build, but. Yeah, that's the joys of building model ships. See you in the next video.